What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. Netflix's one of the most popular shows is set in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. The show is quite popular, and some of the reasons it got so much attention are its very attractive characters, its soap opera, level drama, and of course, the extraordinary friendship of the cast. Did you guys know that they've been through a hurricane while filming? Well, without any further ado, let's get into some really surprising things that happened on the set of Outer Banks. The Creators First, we'll start with a very interesting fact. The show's creators are Josh and Jonas Pate, who are actually twin brothers, and they've previously worked on The Grave, Deceiver, Good vs. Evil, Surface, and The Take. Learning New Stuff Did you guys know that Madeline Klein had to learn to drive stick shift on the set of Outer Banks? Back in Season 2, her character mentioned that she doesn't know how to drive a stick shift, but Klein actually had to learn this during Season 2 production. Well, she certainly did a good job, since you never know when you'll need to know how to drive a stick shift. Now let's see what Madison Bailey learned in order to do a better performance. How to Drive Since driving is a really needed skill for the cast of Outer Banks as they go all around town, Madison Bailey, who plays Kiara, had to learn how to drive. She got her driving license after she was cast in Netflix's original. But that's not the only thing she learned in order to keep her part. Bailey also learned docking a boat, which is quite a complicated thing. And last but not least, she even taught herself to play the ukulele while on set. Can you imagine how talented Bailey is? Big bravo for the actress and her effort. Madeline Klein and Chase Stokes started dating. Definitely one of the most surprising things that happened on set is the lead couple developing feelings for each other and starting dating in real life. Yes, sparks keep flying on the set of Outer Banks. The Netflix show was released in April 2020 and fans couldn't believe the chemistry between Chase Stokes and Madeline Klein, who play John B. and Sarah Cameron, respectively. I think there is such a thing as love that just absolutely takes over and it flips your world upside down," Klein told Seventeen Magazine in May 2020. Then she also explained how the chemistry between her and Stokes came naturally. She, the creator, Jonas Pate, and Chase all sat down from the get-go and spoke about the relationship that was going to be presented in the show. So they wanted to make it look really realistic. The actress then explained that there were things that she and Chase specifically added to the script that felt personal. Because of that, many unscripted scenes were created. But we're going to talk about that a little later in the video. He's gonna leave without saying goodbye. Klein and Stokes Season 2 Outfits Costume designer Emmy Holmes is the person we should all thank for styling the Pogues and Kooks for Netflix's Outer Banks. She's the one responsible for fashioning Sarah Cameron, Madeline Klein, John B., Chase Stokes, Kiara, Madison Bailey, JJ, Rudy Pankow, and Pope, Jonathan Davis. But season 2 had some really interesting plot as Sarah and John B. were less present than in the previous season, and both actors had to wear the same wardrobe for nearly half of the season, according to Netflix. A Certified Kayak Guide Rudy Pankow, who plays JJ in the show, had no problem with the scenes in the water as he is a certified kayak guide. The actor went through a course in which he learned safety and preparations for when in water. Outer Banks consists of such a talented cast. Now, before we continue, make sure you smack that like button if you haven't done it already. A Titanic crew member on set? The Titanic. The name has nothing to do with Chase and Klein, instead it's synonymous with those of Jack and Rose, the passengers on the maiden voyage. However, Captain Lance Julian served as the series' marine coordinator in Season 1 and Season 2 of the show. Interestingly enough, he was also the marine coordinator of Titanic. Improvised Scenes the actors of Outer Banks are given amazing creative freedom when it comes to lines. This is clearly a great thing to a director of a film or a TV show can do as the scenes afterward look more natural and realistic. Many of the scenes in Outer Banks look natural and unscripted because of the before-mentioned creative freedom the cast had in both seasons. One improvised scene is the one in which JJ shows off his hot tub. So you already know that he stole some money from the dealer Barry on his restitution, and instead of spending that money for something really needed, he spent it on a hot tub. Kiara and Pope are obviously angered, but then JJ starts crying and explains that he just wanted to get one nice thing for his friends, his family. Can you believe this wasn't scripted? What did you guys think about this very emotional scene? Let us know in the comments. Are you kidding me? You could have paid for restitution. Or literally given it to any charity. John B. and Sarah's kiss in the rain. 
Now, you all remember the kiss John B. and Sarah shared in the rain, right? Well, you'll be surprised to know that the famous kiss was in fact improvised. According to Klein, they were looking at the radar and it was showing that it was going to be raining for hours. And then the director, Sherry Nolan, was like, I think we might have to call it. There's no way. So Chase, creator Jonas Pate, and Klein just looked at each other and they were all like, let's do it. We gotta do this. This is amazing. This is kismet right now. That is so romantic. Full notebook vibes. It's been a pleasure working with you, comrade. Good. Pleasure's mine. The cast lived together. Stokes lived with Rudy Pankow, JJ, while they were filming season one, just so they can work on the better performance of their characters and to really set a connection. And you'll be surprised to know that Jonathan Davis, Pope, and Austin North, Topper, were roommates in real life. This is a really weird fact to think about when you consider their characters or enemies in the show. Davis and North were living just a few doors down from Stokes and Pankow, with Klein living a floor below them. Drew Starkey, Rafe, and Madison Bailey, Kiara, were also close to them. On the weekends, everybody would come over, play games, blast music, and eat food, Stokes told Nylon. They've survived a hurricane. As you can see, the cast has been through so many things off camera. Aside from the amazing weekends and interesting meetings, they also went through a natural disaster while filming in Charleston, South Carolina, a seven hour drive from the Outer Banks. The cast of the show was required to evacuate the city when Hurricane Dorian was getting close to them. We dipped and went to Asheville, North Carolina, Bailey said in an interview. The cast quarantined together. Friends who quarantine together stay together, right? Well, the Outer Banks cast spent the whole quarantine together. According to Chase Stokes, they even built a fort which they've put up in the living room. The cast of the show is regularly posting photos and videos from their time together, and they shared how they spent their time when they were all quarantined together. It's been about a week and a half of us causing chaos. We finished the whole Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. We started on the Harry Potter series, Stokes told Bill. Imagine spending at least a day with the cast of Outer Banks. How fun would that be? Davis's Gift when season one finished filming, Jonathan Davis gave his friends Pogues matching bracelets that said Pogues for life. But according to Netflix, he spelled Pogues wrong. Stokes' new experience. Now let's talk about the new skill Stokes learned in order to keep his role in the show. You'll be surprised to know that the first time Stokes drove was on set during the season one scene in which John B. investigates Scooter's boat. But Stokes does have a boating license. The actor said he didn't tell any of the creators of Outer Banks this when he was cast, but when they filmed in Charleston, he pulled out his boating license and they were relieved. All right, then we're gonna have to get into the water now. It's fine. Then we're gonna be sitting ducks. So I don't... Howdy. Which of these facts is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure you like our video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.